You can mention it my name, but don't like what you I don't give a fuck. Y'all can suck my dick. All right, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Facebook to find products uh, for Google Shopping and to do product research with. So for those of you who advertise on Facebook, um, you'll know that the key to finding a winning product on Facebook is to find um, a product that isn't saturated and the biggest winning products are ones that are new that other people aren't testing. So on Google Shopping, it's different, right? You actually want people to be testing the product because you need demand for that product because you because demand equals search volume. So you need people to know about the product in order for it to be searched on Google. So if we go to Google Trends here, right? So Fidget Cube was a winning product back in say like August, 2016. If you were um, running this product on Facebook ads, the best time to promote this product would be around this period here, right? So like, uh, so September, 2016 to about January, 2017, because here the product's relatively new, so no one has really seen ads for it. Um, and you can scale it hard because the product isn't saturated here. So if, 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 we, if we wanted to run Google Shopping for this product, the best time to promote this product would be in the latter half of the, of the trend, right? So like February up to May, right? Because this is when the search volume would be highest and where there would be the least competition, right? If we started promoting it here, when the trend is going down, means search volume is decreasing and competition is likely increasing as well. So that means that if you're looking for products on Facebook, ideally it's fine if the product is like a few months old, even like six months old, the product is still fine. So I've got here that saturated products on Facebook ads can do well on Google Shopping. The product is saturated, so if there's like tons of advertisers promoting a single product, right? That means there's lots of awareness of the product and people will be searching it in Google Shopping, which is good. So so ideally what we want to do is we want to like lots of dropshipping pages on Facebook. And then once we start liking lots of dropshipping pages on Facebook, we also want to start clicking on dropshipping ads and we want to add products to cart. And this means that Facebook algorithm will think that you're like a person who buys from dropshipping stores and you'll be served ads for dropshipping our stores more often, right? And that's what we want. We want to see as many ads as possible in our feed from Google Shopping stores. So, and the thing we want to look for is we want to look for new product ads being launched within the last three, actually I'll put three to six months. Um, depends how long the product lasts, but generally three to six months is a pretty good um, time frame. So to do this, right? So you should have built up um, a big list of stores that are running Google Shopping. Usually stores that are running Google Shopping will be running Facebook ads as well. So what we want to do is we want to go ahead and we want to start liking the Facebook pages of these stores, right? So to find the Facebook page of these stores, it's pretty easy, right? All you do, so say if we're on the store page now, is you just scroll down to the footer and there should be a link to their Facebook page. So if you scroll down here, you'll see they've got a link to their Facebook page. So just open up their Facebook page on stores, right? And when you click like, it brings up these related pages down here. So this will happen on other stores as well. So if I go like, it brings up these related pages. So these related pages down here, a lot of them will be, uh, be other dropshipping stores, right? So I'm just gonna open up some uh, stores that look like dropshipping stores in a new tab. And ideally we wanna find general dropshipping stores. Let's have a look here. So free beanie. This looks like a general dropshipping store. If we want to confirm, we just go have a look. Yeah, it's a dropshipping store, 100%. So now, like we'll like this page and it'll bring up similar pages. So yeah, you just want to go through here. Yes, yeah, so anyway, so just keep doing this and like as many dropshipping stores on Facebook as you can, all right? And then, and then on some of the stores that you like, right? So say if we went to free, so say if we opened up this store, you also just want to add products to cart, right? And then just go to the checkout because you have to make sure you're logged into Facebook when you do this because Facebook will just learn, it will pixel you and it will see you adding to cart and going to checkout on dropshipping stores. So you can just do that and click out of it, right? And then once you've done that, what we want to do is you want to install Turbo Ad Finder. So this is a Chrome extension called Turbo Ad Finder here. 
And what this does is it filters your newsfeed so it only displays ads in your newsfeed, right? So let's go to our newsfeed here. I'll go home, turn on Turbo Ad Finder, right? And it should just come up with ads now. Um, so this this profile, I haven't been adding to cart or liking many dropshipping stores, but when you do it, you can see that we're just displaying ads now, right? Like sponsored, sponsored, sponsored. So you should see ads in your feed for dropshipping products in the next couple days once, once you're doing that. Because Facebook will learn that you're the type of person that likes to add products to cart, like especially dropshipping products. All right, cool.